You know, it's been said that life is a series of choices. And of course, Madison would know that because she's made so many choices, almost all of them good. She, she chose, I said almost, <laughs> she chose to make good grades, work hard in school, do her best, accomplish her goal as becoming a pharmacist. Uh, she, she chose so many things, but her best choice ever was when she chose Nick Bradshaw. Maddie's maid of honor. Um, I just wanted to tell you all to start off with how I met Maddie. So we met during pharmacy school, specifically on our interview day. And it's really funny to think back to that day because I met this girl from Kentucky who had the most country accent I think that I'd ever heard at that point in time. Well, over the past seven years, I have lear learned that this girl is that fun-loving friend that you can always depend to roll with any situation. You can always count on her to have a good time, but most importantly, she always shows up for the people that she loves. Maddie's that type of person that will embrace you. She'll have an unconditional love for you. And I believe the honest truth is that all of us here today are a lot better off for knowing Maddie. We've been waiting for this day for what feels like a lifetime, literally. The first time I met you, I did ignore you, but then I decided to give you a chance. The closer we got, the more I realized that you were my person. From that day on, on September 26th of 2018, I knew you were the one. I cannot wait to start our life together and start our family. I'm so thankful and blessed to finally call you my husband. Here's to forever. I love you, Nikki. I knew from the first time I seen you that you were the one. You are everything I hoped for and everything I need. Today I promise to love you, honor you, and cherish you for the rest of my life. Today I make you my wife, and not only that, I make you my best friend. I promise to be by your side in the best and worst times, in the happiest and saddest times, and be your biggest supporter. Forever with you will simply not be enough, but from this day forward, I vow to make the most of every moment. Family, friends, special guests, we're gathered here today in the presence of God to unite Nick and Madison in holy matrimony. Nick, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in the presence of God, according to His holy ordinance, promising to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Madison, do you take this man to be your husband, to live together in the presence of God, according to His holy ordinance? promising to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for him as long as you both shall live. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nick Bradshaw. Be with you. I want to hold you. Cheers to having a couple. 
there's nothing. Uh, many long, prosperous years together. The thing that I admire about Maddie and Nick is that it's so easy when you look at the two of them that they have a genuine, loving, trustworthy, and nurturing relationship. So today, as the two of you start your, a new chapter of your lives together, I just want to wish you all the love and happiness in the world. I love you guys. I want to say, uh, give Nick and Maddie a little advice, mainly Nick. <laughs> when you're wrong, admit you're wrong. And when you're right, just shut up. <laughs> hey, I want to raise my glass to the two most beautiful people I know, Nick and Maddie Bradshaw. Marriage is a marathon, not a race. Times will be great, times will be hard. If you just communicate with each other and put Jesus first, you will have a beautiful, long, happy marriage.